Whether it is a mother preparing a snack for the children, students who take a break between algebra and history, or simply gourmets who prefer express cuisine, crap have always been a timeless classic. Today I will share with you all the secrets to prepare this recipe. Let's see it together. Simplicity is the ace up the sleeve of this recipe and we only need milk, flour, eggs and butter to grease the pan. No sugar, no salt because this is natural butter. I'll start by pouring the milk. Then the eggs. Now start beating the eggs. Who invented crab? Well, nobody knows, but apparently the Italian Crespelle came first. Pope Gelasius in the 5th century ordered a large quantity of them to refresh the French pilgrims who arrived in Rome. The news of these enriched omelettes soon made its way to France, where they took the name of crab, the rice's history. I'll place a sieve on the bowl, and then I'll sift the flour. Add an it in two steps. This way I'll prevent lumps. Stir vigorously. And then I add the rest. Again a vigorous tear. And the batter is ready. I'll put it in the fridge to rest for 30 minutes, covered with plastic wrap. This way any lamps will be absorbed by the milk. And once the batter has rested, I give it a good stir to refresh it. Look how smooth it is. Well, here's a trick. Just pass it through a sieve, so you will get rid of them. It's time to cook the crap. I'll use a crap pan, a special flat pan to cook them. It must be greased each time with butter before use. No problem, you can use the best non-stick pan you have. According to Murphy's law, the first crab always turns out badly because the pan is either too hot or not hot enough. So I'll give you a tip, just eat the first one when nobody's watching. From the second one on walls instead, you can easily serve them to your guests. I'll scoot the batter with a ladle and I'll pour some in the center. Then, with a crab spreader, start to coax the batter all round. When doing this operation, make sure you're not spreading all the batter to the edge. Otherwise, we'll not have an evenly crab. I'll lift the edge this way with a spatula. And I'm ready to flip it. By dint of cooking them, you'll grow a best of hands, but until then, you can use a spatula to flip it. There, it is curling up, it's finally ready. I lay it on this tray. Obviously, it won't get any more golden than this, because there's no sugar. And now we'll prepare another one, showing you perhaps less orthodox, but certainly equally functional method. One more ladleful, and I'll start tilting at the pan like this. You will see that even this way the batter will distribute evenly. No problem, just cover them with uh, plastic wrap and stuff them later on. And I keep going until the batter is finished. Crepe are perfect, both sweet and savory. A few examples? Savory with the radicchio and gorgonzola, or sweet, such as the timeless crepe Suzette. Did this recipe make you hungry? Cook it yourself and then let me know.